We are in the middle of a month recognizing people who have made a significant impact on our communities. Four in Your Corner continues to bring you stories of people working in Southwest Florida to generate change. Being the change they want to see. Shari Armstrong giving you a look at one man who's using a different approach. Shari? Patrick, Jane, when we think of change makers, we think of someone who's on the front line standing up for something that they believe in. This Black History Month, we're introducing you to one man who believes in change through art. I know. It looks like we just stepped foot into a museum, but this is the Naples home of E.T. Williams Jr. And as you can see, art is near and dear to him. These are, these are all uh, from Jamaica. From all over the world, E.T. has been a change maker from his early school days, but his current method of activism is through investing in art and artists from the African-American community. Lynn and I decided very early on that we were going to collect the Black Masters. Williams describes the Black Masters as Hale Woodruff, Romare Barden, Jacob Lawrence, prominent African-American artists who use their work to tell narratives of the Black community. He bought Hale Woodruff's work and gave it to museums like the Metropolitan and the Schomburg Library. If they're in museums, you know that they're probably uh, on their way. Museums like the Baker Museum in Naples, which William says he works with to help increase their collection of black artists, including Jonathan Green. Jonathan Green was one of the leading artists in Naples, bar none. William says his mission to help black artists make gains in the art world is working. So we are making a lot of progress in, in, in the art world, yes. In Naples, Shari Armstrong, Fox 4, in your corner.